The ocean looks calm from the surface, but beneath that blue silence is a battlefield where nations hide their most powerful secrets. Imagine a submarine moving quietly, confident that no one knows it is there, when suddenly a missile launches from miles away, not toward the sea surface, but straight into the sky. What if that missile already knows where the submarine is hiding? What if escape is almost impossible? Can a single weapon really hunt submarines before they even know they've been detected, Power Nation Hub? Today we are diving deep into one of the most fascinating and terrifying naval weapons ever created, the RUM-139 VL ASROC, and how it turned the oceans into a deadly game of hide-and-seek. Submarines were once considered ghosts of the sea, silent, invisible, and lethal. For decades, navies believed that if a submarine stayed quiet enough, it could avoid detection and strike whenever it wanted. But modern naval warfare doesn't believe in ghosts. It believes in sensors, speed, and surprise. That is where VL Azrock enters the story. Not as a torpedo slowly searching through water, but as a missile that attacks from the sky. Think about that for a moment. A submarine hunter that begins its journey in the air. How does that even make sense, Power Nation Hub? VL ASROC stands for Vertical Launch Anti-Submarine Rocket. The RUM-139 is the modern version used by the United States Navy and its allies. This weapon is designed to be launched from surface warships, especially destroyers and cruisers equipped with the MK-41 Vertical Launch System. The same launch cells that fire air defense missiles and land attack weapons can also fire a submarine hunter. That means a ship doesn't need special launchers or deck-mounted rockets. Everything is hidden below the deck waiting silently, just like the submarines it hunts. Now here's where things get truly interesting. Traditional anti-submarine warfare relied heavily on ship-launched torpedoes or helicopters dropping torpedoes into the water. Both methods have limitations. Ships must get close to the suspected submarine, which takes time. Helicopters are effective but vulnerable and limited by weather and range. So engineers asked a bold question. Why not deliver a torpedo to the target area at missile speed power nation hub? That single question changed naval warfare. When a ship's sonar or a network of sensors detects a hostile submarine, the ship's combat system calculates the target's position, speed, and depth. This data is fed into the VL ASROC missile. Within seconds, the missile launches vertically, blasting out of the ship's deck and angling toward its target zone. From the submarine's perspective, there may be no warning at all. No loud ship engines nearby, no helicopter blades in the air, just silence. Is this what makes VL ASROC so dangerous power nation hub? As the missile races through the air, it carries not a warhead, but a lightweight torpedo, usually the MK-54. This torpedo is a sophisticated hunter in its own right, packed with sensors, signal processing, and the ability to distinguish between real submarines and decoys. The missile flies to a calculated release point and then drops the torpedo into the ocean, parachute-assisted entering the water at the exact location where the submarine is expected to be. Think about the psychological impact of this. A submarine crew might believe they are undetected, moving slowly, listening to the ocean. Suddenly, without warning, a torpedo splashes into the water nearby. By the time the submarine's sensors realize what's happening, the torpedo may already be active, searching, locking on. How much reaction time does that leave, Power Nation Hub? The brilliance of VL ASROC lies in its speed and reach. A ship can attack a submarine tens of kilometers away, far beyond the range of traditional ship-launched torpedoes. This standoff capability means surface ships don't have to sail directly over a suspected submarine contact. They can strike from a safer distance, reducing their own risk. In modern naval combat, distance often equals survival. But VL ASROC is not just about range, it is about integration. Modern navies do not fight as individual ships anymore, they fight as networks. Sonar data can come from other ships, submarines, maritime patrol aircraft, or even unmanned underwater vehicles. All this information can be fused into a single firing solution. That means a ship might launch a VL ASROC at a submarine it has never directly detected itself. Is this the future of invisible warfare power nation hub? The MK-54 torpedo carried by VL ASROC deserves special attention. It is designed to operate in both deep ocean and shallow coastal waters. 
where sound behaves unpredictably. It uses advanced signal processing to filter out noise, countermeasures, and false targets. Submarines often deploy decoys to confuse torpedoes, creating fake acoustic signatures. The MK-54 is built to see through these tricks. That turns VL ASROC into more than just a delivery system. It becomes part of an intelligent kill chain. One of the most frightening aspects for submarine crews is the lack of warning. Unlike incoming torpedoes launched from ships or submarines, which might be detected by sonar at long range, an air-delivered torpedo arrives suddenly. The missile itself travels through air, not water, so it produces no underwater noise until the torpedo enters the sea. By then, the engagement has already begun. Does this remove the submarine's greatest advantage, Stealth Power Nation Hub? Over the years, VL ASROC has evolved quietly, just like the submarines it hunts. Earlier versions were limited by older torpedo technology and less precise targeting. The RUM-139 version incorporates modern guidance, improved reliability, and compatibility with advanced combat systems like Aegis. This makes it a perfect fit for modern destroyers such as the Arleigh Burke class. These ships can defend against aircraft, missiles, and submarines all at the same time. Multi-domain dominance is no longer a theory. It is reality. Some critics argue that submarines are still safe if they are careful enough. After all, detection is never guaranteed. Oceans are vast, noisy, and complex. But the rise of long-range anti-submarine weapons changes the equation. Submarines must now assume that if they are detected even briefly, a weapon like VL ASROC could already be on the way. How does that change submarine tactics and psychology, Power Nation Hub? In response, submarine designers focus more on stealth, quieter propulsion, and better countermeasures. This creates an endless cycle of action and reaction. Sensors improve, weapons improve, stealth improves, then sensors improve again. VL ASROC represents one moment in that cycle where offense gained a significant advantage. It compresses time. Detection to attack happens so fast that traditional evasive maneuvers may not be enough. Another often overlooked aspect is deterrence. Weapons like VL ASROC are not just meant to be fired. Their existence changes behavior. An adversary knows that any surface fleet equipped with these missiles can rapidly respond to submarine threats. That forces submarines to be more cautious, slower, and less aggressive. In naval strategy, limiting enemy freedom of movement is often as valuable as destroying them outright. Is VL ASROC a silent deterrent as much as it is a weapon, power nation hub? VL ASROC also reflects a philosophical shift in naval warfare. Instead of chasing submarines and reacting slowly, navies aim to dominate underwater space proactively. The ocean is no longer a safe hiding place by default. It is a monitored environment where detection can trigger immediate, long-range consequences. This idea would have sounded like science fiction decades ago. Today, it is standard doctrine. What makes this even more fascinating is how seamlessly VL ASROC fits into existing ship systems. A commander does not need to choose between air defense and anti-submarine capability. The same ship, the same launch system, and the same radar and sonar networks support multiple mission types. Flexibility is power. In a real conflict, that flexibility could decide who controls the sea. Imagine a high-tension naval standoff. Submarines lurk below, surface ships patrol above, aircraft circle overhead. Everyone is listening. Everyone is watching. A single sonar contact appears, faint but suspicious. Within moments, a decision is made. A vertical launch cell opens. A missile roars upward. Somewhere below, a submarine crew suddenly realizes they are no longer alone. Is this how future naval battles will begin? Power Nation Hub? Despite its power, VL ASROC is not invincible. It depends on accurate targeting data. If the submarine maneuvers unpredictably, or if the detection data is outdated, the torpedo may enter the water too far from the target. Oceans are dynamic, and uncertainty is always present. That uncertainty keeps the game alive. Still, the speed and reach of VL ASROC drastically reduce the margin for error on the submarine's side. As technology advances, future versions may become even more lethal. Improved sensors, 
network targeting, artificial intelligence-assisted torpedoes, and longer ranges could further shrink the submarine's safe zone. The line between detection and destruction may continue to blur. That raises an uncomfortable question. Are we approaching a point where submarines lose their strategic value power nation hub? For now, submarines remain critical assets, especially for nuclear deterrence and intelligence gathering. But weapons like VLS Rock remind us that no advantage lasts forever. Every hiding place eventually gets a spotlight. Every silence eventually meets a listener. The oceans are still vast, but they are no longer empty. So the next time you see a sleek destroyer cutting through the waves, remember that beneath its calm exterior lies the ability to strike enemies it cannot even see with its own eyes, a missile that hunts underwater ghosts, a torpedo delivered from the sky, a reminder that modern warfare is as much about information and speed as it is about firepower. Can one missile really hunt submarines before they even know? After understanding VL Azrock, the answer feels unsettlingly close to yes, doesn't it, Power Nation Hub?